Hello YouTube, this is Mockingbird Gaming, and welcome to creating a Windows XP bootable CD. Uh, first thing you'll need is Nero Burning Wrong 12. Uh, it's here. Uh, just go on the website, just get the 15 day free trial, or crack it, it's up to you. Oh, we're just going to use it this once. Uh, just minimise that after you've just gone through the process. When it asks you for a key, if you have a key, put it in. If not, just go for the trial. Second thing you'll need is boot.ima. That link is the media file link in the description. Um, next thing you'll need is the Windows XP ISO. Now here it is for me. I've got Damien's Tools Lite, that's why it's got the little line and bolt in it. Uh, for, and the fourth thing you'll need is WinRAR. That's just to extract all the files inside the ISO and put it in a separate folder. Now, to get that first, we need to right click the ISO after you've downloaded the torrent. Open with WinRAR Archiver. Just highlight all the files in there, and then move them into a separate folder. I've already done that, so I don't need to do that. Once you've done that, you should have all these files here. Now, open up Nero Burning Room 12. Uh, the first thing that should come up is New Compilation. Uh, scroll down until you can see Boot, CD Boot, cd on Boot, here we are. The image file, just browse, and, that's, and get the boot.ima file that we had here. Uh, the kind of emulation that you need is none. Loaded sectors is four. No auto run. ISO, none. Label. It has to be this label, otherwise the XPCD won't work. WXPCCP underscore EN. They all have to be in capital letters. And go on to burn. It has to be in the smallest write speed, otherwise it won't, you know, it won't work. Uh, so just press no. And here we are, this is our template of our CD. Now, you go onto our, wherever you extracted the folder. Here's mine, Windows XP. It's on my desktop. Just get all the files, drag and drop it in. Now, this bar at the bottom will show you how big the uh, CD will be. It should be between 600 and 700, which is fit for a normal CD, because a normal CD can hold up to 700 megabytes. Um, and basically, now look, you've done it. So, what you do is, you just hit the button at the top. Double check your labels right and your uh, boot information's okay. And then just put the disc in the tray and hit burn. And that's it for this tutorial. Uh, please like and subscribe for more. Uh, thank you for watching.